is so adorable. Go shorts. Okay. So anyways, that was posted. Again, still the favorites. Still the favorites. Let's go back here. And um, so this was posted four hours ago. All right. Let's uh, let's watch this video together here. So it's two minutes long. Hello, everyone. I went on a wonderful adventure today in Dreamlight Valley, and I want to share it with you. It started with my favorite song on the radio. Don't you just love when that happens? It put me in the best mood ever. So I picked out my look for the day. <gasps> I was in the mood for something Oh, wait, ever. wait, wait. So hang on. I picked out my look for the day. This is my look for the day. Can I have this to start off, please? This is 100% my Disney girl look. OMG. OMG. I'm telling you, it's way too freaking cute. Remember when I did it for Halloween two years ago? I did Minnie Mouse. <laughs> it literally is like an outfit exactly like this. She kind of looks like you. Aw, thanks. They got their inspiration from me, clearly. Day. I was in the mood for something adventurous. <gasps> and I Wizard. had the perfect outfit. I was feeling a bit creative, so I added a little touch of Aww. magic to my look. And then I was off. I made my way to Shea Remy for brunch. Oh, wait, wait. Hang and on. And then I was off. It's really, I really quick, but look, Elsa, Elsa. And she has her Frozen 2 dress on. Yes! Remember, it's in DMK, guys. Oh, wow. It is gorgeous. I made my way to Shea Remy for brunch. I love cooking with Remy. I was feeling some Mickey waffles with jam, but ah! it turns out we were fresh out of fruit. Raspberry jam is my favorite, so I headed up to the Forest of Valor to pick some. And while I was there, I heard a sound from the Frosted Heights biome. But I just couldn't cross the bridge. I'll have to adventure back there to check it out. My stomach Frozen. started to rumble, so I headed back over to the plaza. <laughs> and oh! we were ready to cook. I always learn something new with Remy. There are so many recipes to try to create the perfect Disney-themed meal. Ah, here we go. Oh my god! I even whipped up an extra and shared it with Kristoff. After brunch, the weather was just so perfect that I couldn't Ariel. resist going for a walk and some Ariel. shopping. While looking in the windows of Scrooge McDuck's general <laughs> store, I ran into Scrooge himself. He asked for my help spreading the word around town about his shop. Of course, I said yes. Obviously. So I headed over to my crafting table, whipped up a few signs, and placed them around town. I was exhausted after so much excitement, and I just felt like relaxing a bit. So I decided to move my house over to Dazzle Beach to watch the sunset. Aww, when I set up my around. house, I noticed a strange pillar. Merlin had quite a story to tell about it. I put up the perfect hangout spot and I invited Ariel to hang out because happy moments are always better when you share them with friends. It really was a perfect day in Dreamlight Valley. Oh my god. Pre-order Disney Dreamlight Valley now. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. There was so much stuff. Where After to so freaking begin? Seriously. I didn't know we would be able to like actually move them around whenever we wanted. So that makes me very, very happy. The one character though that is missing from all of this that is really a big part of Disney Magic Kingdoms is Maleficent. So I wonder what she has done in this. She's got to have her hand in something. She always, always, always does. But as you guys can see here, we're getting like a bit more of a glimpse. Goofy making some really ridiculous faces. We've got Mickey up at the top, Ariel in the middle, Wally, Maui we're getting to interact with, obviously. Um, there's Ursula. Oh, gosh, there's so many, right? Stitch. Um, again, it's fantastic that there is just so, so many. And, uh, you know, getting to watch the sunset with Ariel, it really doesn't get any better than that. The houses are fabulous. And if this didn't convince you to get Disney Dreamlight Valley, like, now I don't know what will like that was so great I am so much more excited I literally can't even 
Disney, 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 Disney. Let's go. And it's brand new as of four hours ago. So this is extra exciting that we're on stream and able to share that with you guys like right away. Woo! So hyped. So hyped. Or the Evil Queen. Yes, that's true. Evil Queen could be making quite the appearance, but I feel like this might be one of those ones that'll appear a little later on. But I did see if you guys noticed the cake um, that um, is in here. It is literally like the decoration from, it was right around here. So the decoration um, in Disney Magic Kingdoms here. Okay, so not this. I gotta pause it quickly. So there is the cake. So you guys remember this cake um, in the kingdom. I actually put it in around my Alice in Wonderland section because it just, you know, it's very curious. But it is from Sleeping Beauty. So, uh, you know, our lovely, lovely fairies have made that uh, for us as a decoration in the kingdom. And of course, um, you know, that is what it's to represent. So I can imagine that that is going to be something there that... Uh, you know, we'll be we'll be able to compare a lot of the decorations that we have and then what is in this game. Now, the one thing I really, really do want to just point out that is a little bit weird at this particular point in time um, is going to be the fact it kind of looks like there's a bottle of red wine here um, right in the corner. It's probably like, I don't know, tomato sauce or something. But I have to say, it does look like, I mean, you can make red velvet cupcakes, right, with wine. I've done it. It's very good. It's like my freaking favorite. And uh, I just, I feel like, uh, I mean, wine is very useful in the kitchen. But, yeah. 